In this video, we will be looking at how different types Good of maps are used for tourism. We will be discussing the different types of maps that we did. So, what is the nine map? First of all, we get eight types of maps and they use in tourism. We also get electronic maps and there are four different types. Other ICT that you get in tourism is also information communication technology that we get. Maps show the following. A map usually has a title which describes what the map shows. The places on the map, such as names of towns and cities, are usually labeled. Lines of latitude and longitude give the position of the area relative to the globe. And the skull tells you how many centimeters on the ground are represented by one centimeter on the map. The skull also gives an idea of the size of the area that is shown. We know this already because we have already discussed this in the previous video. So the general references map. What does that mean? It means it covers an area such as a continent or a country. And it includes maps that focus on a specific thing in a specific area, for example, population distribution in South Africa. What are the uses of reference maps? These are valuable sources of general information about an area to tourists. Information may feature such as roads, railways and dams. So if you look at the grid below, the table, the type of map is a general reference map, for example, South Africa. And the explanation would be map showing a specific theme of an area and the uses and value for tourism. The tourists can get a general idea of where the country or area is located on the map. Road maps. Hmm. So if you travel a lot, you definitely will make use of a road map. These maps are useful for tourists because they indicate the roads that connect towns and cities. It also indicates the distance between the towns and cities, which makes it easier to work out the time between the destinations for when you leave and the time of arrival. So once again in the table, you get the type of map, which is a road map, roads leading to Kimberley, for example. The explanation is to give details regarding the road leading to a specific area or city and tourists can work out the traveling time and the route they want to follow or the distance between the city. As you can have a look, we have the N1 meeting up with the N2 and then also the N12 that leads to Kim. <laughs> Maps show us where we are and where we need to go. A map shows places like countries and cities, and also roads and famous landmarks. On a map, you might see a compass rose that tells you which way is north. The legend tells you what all the symbols mean. And to find the distance between two places, use the map scale. It looks like a ruler. everyone before we begin I just wanted to remind you that this is a new process for some of you and uh, you may have some questions that you need answered in class feel free to ask those questions uh, or email me and uh, let's begin so our topic for today is types of maps there are many many different looks we will get from a map but there are really only three categories of maps that we will experience throughout the year each of these categories has particular characteristics and they are designed and created for a very specific purpose. 